Rehouse. Welcome to another video, uh, another rehousing video. Hope you guys don't mind, but this one is going to be my communal H Gigas. Um, I've had them for a little while. I have four of them. They're in this little acrylic enclosure here, and it's time for them to be moved. Uh, so I'm going to rehouse them into a 5.5 gallon. Uh, you can see what's going on here. Lots of substrate moss. Just a you know a little stick here for decoration. Uh, the H Gigas they actually can swim. Uh, this is one of those little fen pals or critter keepers. Uh, it's probably meh, probably about five inches of water. I have a pothole in there going to take root, and I have some cork bark in there floating. So you know if they go in, they can actually climb up the uh, the plant. And on the cork bark to get back out and this moss is more more so for uh them not dragging the substrate through into the water so not looking forward to this one because old worlds fast and there's four of them to keep an eye on so uh let's see what happens here i'm probably going to end up making a mess of the new enclosure just trying to get them in there but that's fine i can figure that out a little bit later what I'm going to do is just set this in here like a so and hopefully I'm just going to coax them out and over. Where's my tongs? Where's my tongs? Sorry guys. Thought I had my tongs here but I didn't. So Sorry, hitting the camera. So I'm just gonna pull this stuff out. And as you can see over here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got like four catch cups because you never know, right? What you're gonna need. And again, there may not be a whole lot of talking here because I sort of kind of have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. There's one's butt right there. So maybe I can get under him. Like so. <laughs> Hopefully. It's crazy how they just want to stay on their own stuff because they're used to it. They're so familiar with it. Come on, buddy. This one looks like he's in primo. He's got a big bum. There he is. Come on, buddy. Back it up. Back it up. One. Let's going to scoot him over a little bit. You can see him there near the water. Are you guys do me a favor. Keep an eye on that thing. Joking. Uh, there was four in here. I did see four. I think it was a few weeks ago. Um, well, hopefully there's still four in there. Well, it looks like he's, or she, making its way back here. I don't want it getting under there just yet. Almost need a spoon. As I said, these guys are known to swim. Um... You know, a lot of people think trenches are going to drown. They're not going to drown. Even little slings. They're not going to drown in a, in a water dish. They're not stupid. They've been around for millions, millions of years. They know what they're doing. I probably should have done this in a bigger enclosure. I've got some of this substrate out. Which is what I'm sort of kind of going to have to do here. Scoop as I go. Be careful not to scoop out any little critters. This is what I was sort of kind of concerned about. I mean, if I wasn't doing this on video, it would be no problem, but I'm trying to get footage and you know, make it to go as smooth as possible. It's not as easy as it looks sometimes. 
And again, this is all hollow under here. Meaning they have their little tunnels. What have you. Um, I guess I could have used the flood method, but eh. there's one there. And he's a little more excited than the last one. See if I can get him to back up. Oh, yeah. oh no, he's gone. Hold on, buddy. This one looks like he's uh, freshly molted. Gonna try and shoo him over. There he or she goes. So that's two. There's one there, one there. So far, so good. Just sorry about my hands, guys. Just keep taking a bit of substrate out and I'm pouring it into another cup here. That way, uh, <clears throat> you know, I can see if there's anything in there. But generally, generally. And that's just loose sub straight. So as I've been doing, just loosening it up, skimming it off the top, and then keep going. You guys are keeping an eye on those because I can't see them. And I know you guys can't tell me if they're going anywhere but I'm trying to keep a close eye on the other side make sure they don't shoot out there's another one there number three come on buddy Woohoo! <laughs> that's three one more and I can get that thing out of there hopefully none of them are stuck to the bottom of this enclosure one hang shooting over that way I'd like to see one go to the water on its own per se my buddy uh, Ryan Mack at Tangle and Webs he's got a, I think he's got a communal of I think uh, six between 60 and 80 of these things and uh, give it a uh, I think it was his, an, another enclosure he had set up but he, he gave a, a larger one uh, a nice water area and uh, I actually seen footage of it um, Going, walking into the water and just going right down to the bottom and walking around and coming back up which was really really cool it's always the last one you're worried about oh there it is as I spoke spoke too soon there he is there oh look at him that's a little one that's okay come on buddy up and over oh goodness okay now the, the, the tricky part is making sure there's not on the bottom well that's not that tricky but One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. I get excited sometimes, guys, because things uh, tend to go well at times. Look at that little guy. Look how tiny he is. Look how big that one is. Anyways, guys, I'll get you down and get you a better look. All right, so there we go. There's a little gaffer there. As you can see, he's near the water. And these three are right there. Very cool. This one's coming out of the glass. Don't you be coming up here, buddy. I might have to blow on you. Don't make me do that. Look at the size of this one in comparison to the other two. Or, sorry, the other three. And as you can see there, there's a burrow there. I just sort of kind of, he's going into it, he or she. Little starter burrow there. Another one there. Another one there. But uh, I'm kind of happy, guys, because there's four in there. Now, one or two are quite small. This one's a big Bertha. Yeah. But that's okay. They're doing well. I'm going to put some crickets and stuff in here. And uh, let them feed up again. So anyways, guys, this was, you know, another rehouse video, but you know what? They're fun. I've been looking forward to doing this one for a while, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing if they take to the water. 
So anyways, guys, uh, this is it. Have a good day and a good night. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care. Bye-bye.